Stand up and be proud. North Carolina. Woo -hoo, yeah. You lost the Super Bowl, but you you're very still got Charlie Rose. <laughs> Philip, and now Philip Riggs That's from right. North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics is taking top honors. Well, we have a guest with us today, and I'm very excited to introduce to you uh, Philip Riggs. Uh, Mr. Riggs is the Music Educator of the Year and just won a Grammy for that. So can we welcome Mr. Riggs? So, yeah, thanks for being here. Thank you. One of the most special things for me in this process has been when I first learned about the nomination. I was nominated by a former student of mine who chose to then go on and be a middle school band director. You know, really there's no other gift you can get greater than being recognized by a former student who does what you do. I initially considered not even submitting my materials, just thinking, you know, there's so many incredible teachers across the country. But as, but as I thought through that, I, I, I really realized that really to honor her nomination, I needed to do everything I could to put my best foot forward. And here we are. <laughs> Blow lots of fast air through that and, and don't be afraid of it. You just got to go for it, right? And make it work. Where, where do you want to start? Can we start right now on that? Take it, take it, take it, take it. Even before this all started, I was very instrumental in helping get started the new music teacher mentor program through the North Carolina Music Educators Association. It was really concerning to me that a new music teacher usually stays in the classroom about three years. Well, those first couple of years are really difficult, and I think they're probably more difficult now than they've ever been. But uh, we, I really wanted to see us put into place a program where veteran teachers could help those new teachers and really realize what a wonderful career it can be for them. As a brand new teacher, coming into the field of being a band director and teaching music, was overwhelming. There's a habit to nude, I'm Mark over and I'm not looking at it. But. There's so many things that you're trying to learn and be able to process, not only just in the music itself, but the administrative side of teaching and the you know parent relations side of teaching. And there's just so many things that go along with teaching. And so uh, he just took me under his wing. Even though there's a rest behind it. Okay. Okay. Let's give it a shot. When I heard that Philip Riggs had received the Grammy, I was overjoyed. He was 100% the best choice, uh, in my opinion, for sure. And in a way, I wasn't even really surprised uh, because of the type of person he is, not only the teacher he is, but the type of person that he would show that care, that show that understanding that it's beyond not just how well do you play this music or how well can you, you know, make all of this logistical things happen, but the relationships that he has with his students, but also with those other band directors in his field. Philip Riggs, he's the man. One of the reasons I was excited to come to the North Carolina School of Science and Math is outreach. Um, Scott Laird, the orchestra director here, and I do quite a bit of that, uh, in, definitely in North Carolina, but even beyond at the regional and national level. You know, a lot of people think we're a STEM school and that's all we do is, is the technology and the engineering and the science. A lot of people don't know how vibrant the arts is here. The theater program is very active and does great work. Uh, the music department and the visual arts department, we're all very active and um, not, not just as teachers but, but continuing to practice our art. With this award, I've been selected to be the one that's the spokesperson for all the wonderful teaching that's going on throughout the country. You know, I'd love to just shout from the top of every building, you know, music education's important. In the hard life that we um, live in as high school students, we get to have that time to be taught how to um, effectively go through a piece of music and also through that, music has a lot of parallels with life and it just kind of teaches you so many life lessons that regardless as if you're gonna go on with music in your life, you can kind of apply those in any aspect of the future. I would encourage uh, communities and parents to be active supporters, not only monetarily, but just in saying, we want our child to have this as part of their education. Rihanna Giddens is actually an alum of science and math and is a Grammy winner, was just uh, nominated again this year for, uh, she was with the Carolina Chocolate Drops and now is doing some stuff on her own. So, you know, it can be in any school and it can be from any place and uh, you, know, you just have to keep 
supporting those students that have the, the desire to do it because you never know where they're going to go. Philip will go back to Los Angeles in April to receive his Grammy trophy. Thank you.